ESPNOnline.com. Where, uh, Josh, tell us about every Saturday morning where we can find you in person as well as on the dial. Well, this Saturday we'll be right here, right at <laughs> Anderson Gymnasium. Don't have to go far. It's going to be a busy day Saturday. Of course, we got the Cheap, cheap, cheap Seats show coming on at 9 o'clock. We're going to have Coach Alexander right away at 9 o'clock. Of course, he's got a game to get ready to it up for at 11.30. We're going to bring you the ball game at 11.30 and then again that night at 8.30. So a busy uh, day full of Railer sports, and you can check that out on 96.3 and WLC and on. Got to be a, if, if it's Thanksgiving, we got to be playing all basketball all day right. on Saturday. Chargers will open possession here in the second half. Kenny over to Richard Shea. What point keeps quick tonight? And Brant there you go. forces the tie up. Brant oh. seems exceptionally quick tonight. He's, he's been moving without the ball. He's been there when passes arrive. And Centennial starts to have with the, uh, their 12th turnover in the basketball game. Rather, 15 points off the uh, turnovers by Centennial. We talked about that in the pregame. It's being big, and it's been huge. Railers with the same starters on the floor. Nathaniel in the post kicks it back out. Austin's going to drive in, kicks it out. Nice ball moving around. Jordan Gesner finds an open three. That's no good. Rebound coming down to Richter Shea for Centennial. Jordan will hit those. It's, uh, as the year goes on, he's a good shooter. Nice, good nice job on the backside yeah. from Brandt, knocking that away. And then a double dribble is going to be whistled on the railer, so it gives it right back to Centennial. But Brandt did a really nice job, Josh. The, the uh, player turned his back, never saw Brandt. Yeah. Well, what Vinny did his job. He turned him. And when that guy did reverse pivot, there was Brandt to meet him right there for the basketball. And a turnover, but unfortunately, the railer turned right back to the Chargers on the double dribble. Almost a minute into the third quarter. Yeah, we want to credit for only two offensive rebounds, although Centennial only got four teams yet. Piper over to Richard Shea. Kinney, working around now to the shore, back on top to Kinney. Swing it around quickly, trying to find something. Looks like they're trying to find some way to get it down to Butler, but this railer defense is just not letting it happen. Okay, Jeff, we got them right where we wanted. They're passing it at 35 feet. Back and forth, not doing anything really to penetrate to get a good look. Kenny, nice shot by Austin Kirby closing out on him. Kenny nice. with a floater, tough though, shot. is up and good. Was a tough shot. He does that all half. We'll be fine. Looking for the Raiders to get a bucket here. They're in a bit of a funk right now. They've given up the last six points. 29-21. Nelson tries to go around a screen by Gesner, loses it momentarily, gets it back. Now over to Coyne. Working around on the corner, now bringing it back out is Austin Kirby. Railers being very patient this possession. Gesner between the circles. Hands over to Jordan Nelson. Nelson being watched by Kinney. Right wing to Jordan Gesner. Gesner working against Butler. Tries to get it in Nathaniel. Smitty brings it back out near the sideline. Smitty did a nice job going out to beat that pass. And they're going to say that Nathaniel, he went baseline trying to go around with short, stepped on the end line. So another turnover. 5.50 to go in the third, and Centennial a chance to creep a little bit closer. Yeah, the offense has, has become kind of stagnant now. We're yep. not getting a lot of cuts. We're not getting any easy baskets. It's been a while since the Railers have gotten an easy basket. Butler takes it strong, flips it up no good. Piper with the tip try. That's no good. The Railers. off of uh, LeSean. Oh. Yeah, Josh, it seems like we're doing a little bit of pointless dribbling right now. We're just kind of messing around. They're not cutting hard. They're not uh, penetrating with passes, kicking it in and out, looking for the shot. Five and a half to go. Lincoln 29, Centennial 21. This is where you want seniors like Smith and Nelson to yeah. step up. Get, it, get out of the way and I'll get you an easy basket. Yeah. Exactly. Coin between the circles. Now over to Nelson. Oh. Gesner was open underneath. Very couldn't well. get it to him. Austin fires off a three and that's good. Austin's first point for the night. You know, it's one of those where you're glad he made it, but I'm not sure that was the shot they were really looking for. Double-digit lead again for the Railers at 32-21. Austin, as we said, his first three of the night. He had a three in the opener on Monday. Into Piper at the free throw line. Turns, looks, now tries to make a move. Shuffled his feet, got away with it. Flips it up from eight feet and good. Boy, he's getting, he's getting it really easy in the top of the key, and he's an excellent shooter from that area. Free throw and in. Uh, the Railers got to tighten it up on that on that elbow where Piper can get it. He looked like Chandler there from southeast. He gets the ball on the free throw line in the basket. Gesner in the right corner, swinging around the perimeter. Austin Kirby hands back to Nathaniel, steps into a three. Good look, up and good. When well, Nathaniel squares up, takes the time to make that shot. Nathaniel yeah. now in double figures with 11. Yeah, we're getting the threes to drop, but we've, we, I think we've right. got to get some easy ones. Right. Those, are, those are some tough shots and deep threes in a close game. And at 30%, you're going to miss seven right. out of ten. So. 
four fifteen to go. Railers thirty five, Centennial twenty three. Piper tries to cut down the lane. They can't get it to him. They get it set out to Kenny now to Piper on the baseline. 17 footer. Missed it off the front of him. Kenny comes down with a little floater from AC. That's up and good again. Kenny has six. All of a sudden, uh, Centennial pounded us inside. Halfway through the third, still a 10 point advantage. But even though we've still got that 10 point advantage, it seems like the uh, the aggressiveness is really up on Centennial, and we're kind of we've kind of backed off. Yeah, we're reacting rather. Than we're reactive rather than proactive, Jeff. Gesner. Take your time, Railers. Over the corner. Over here, you're up then. Coin hands off. Jordan, yeah. top of the key. Floater three, spins off no good. Rebound comes down to Gesner. Nice job by Jordan. Nelson goes right by Piper. The little finger roll count it, and he is fouled. That's one of the great advantages of being a good three-point shooter. They just assume that's all you're going to take, and there's no way Piper's going to be able to stay with Nelson. Right, no, and, and that's exactly what we need here. Nelson, uh, you know, got away from Kenny at that point and was able to get all the way to the rim, and, they, and uh, he gets uh, on his way up. They hack him on the arm, and he's strong enough to get it up over the rim and going for a uh, for a free throw for a three-point play. We Been talked, good. We talked in pregame about taking advantage of mismatches with Centennial uh, switches, and that was a good example right there. 38-25, Railers ah. up by 13. Jordan did nice job. Jordan Nelson did nice job recovering on defense that time. Kenny working against Nelson's side of the zone, and a hole is going to be whistled on Nelson. That'll be his first, first on the Railers here in the oh, second half. Kenny is extremely quick. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, but that's the player we talk about. Nelson has the ability to shoot and go to the basket. I really think Kenny's the only a guy that can go to the basket. Right, he's not a shooter. Fires off a three, off the back of the rim. Glad he didn't positive. Make it. Rebound comes down to yeah. Centennial Butler back on top to Richter Shea. Another offensive rebound. Inside to Piper, and Brant's yep. going to get whistled coming from the backside, and it looks like they're trying to really be uh, more aggressive of trying to get it into Piper this half. Well, they did a nice job. They stretched the fan out to the corner, and then Piper cuts hard. Uh, it's almost impossible to point in front of him. Once Piper gets it in low, he scores for foul. 2.53 to go. Lincoln on top, 38-25. <laughs> and Jordan's going to get whistled for a foul. He tried to tip it away, but also leveled at Javante LaShore, the 6-2 senior. Gesner picks up his third. We think LaShore's got a brother who's a reasonably good football player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good for the Illini on Saturday for 330 yards yeah. at Wrigley Field. Yeah. But, uh, which was interesting which as well. Was, yeah, amazing to me. The thing that happened, and they never checked it out. But anyway, that's for the Chiefs meet uh, yeah. on Saturday. Jake Olsen in, replacing uh, Gesner. And Jake, when he played in the first half, I thought did an outstanding job. Playing a Big Ten game in the junior high gym, you know. Kenny, and that's... Uh, that foul's going to be whistled on Austin Kirby and Josh. You saw it right there when uh, Taylor Alexander got the inside position, so the pass inside it was a lot easy, and Austin really didn't have a chance. No, we're uh, right now we've, we've been out of position a lot here in the third quarter on defense. You know, guys are getting to spots that are usually covered by railers or are supposed to be covered by railers, and uh, we've got to get back to, to playing it how they practice in practice. Right? Cover your spots up. Every guy's got a job to do. You're supposed to be at a spot at every point on the floor, and we got to get there earlier than what we are. And all that said, the Railers still lead by 13, so uh, uh, that's good. But yeah, Centennial will, is, is beating on it right at the moment. Alexander missing the first, gets the second. He has three, 38-26. Grant Coyne checking out. Christian Van Hook back in. And we're I hope for Centennial to really turn up the heat on defense now. Really put the press on. It's like a zone press. That's up to Austin. They break the pressure into the front court. Jordan steps into a three. It's on the way. It's up and good. That's one way to attack his own crap. Yeah, they may not do that very much longer. Oh, 19 yep. for Nelson. He knocked it away, but couldn't, uh, couldn't come up with it. And then we up a foul. Yeah, Jordan was just uh, hustling a little too much and couldn't stop. Ran over the back of uh, Victor Shea. So Nelson picking up his second tip on the team. Yeah, Josh, if you're zone pressing and Nelson finds uh, the three-point line with nobody there, then you're going to be not long for that zone. No. 2.15 to go, Lincoln on top, 41-26, Kinney. Moving around to the left side to Piper, back on top to Kinney, near the top of the key. His three on the way, spins off no good, Van Hook high for the rebound. Van Hook went and got it, Jeff. He didn't, he didn't sit there, he went aggressively to the ball. Down in the corner, Jay Golson open for a three. Left it short, almost got the bounce again. And the ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. And good, that's back Kirby, really. Down. The only one that went in for that offensive board was up high yep. uh, to get it. And just uh, momentum 
drug him out of bounds. Yeah, Austin did a nice job. He's not afraid to be inside there. 155 to go. Third quarter. Lincoln on top by 15. Looking to move to 2 0 here in the tournament. Get another outstanding field in this tournament, Jeff. Loaded with good basketball team. Piper turns in the lane, picks it back out to Kenny again. Puts on the line, spins out no good. Van Hook high for the rebound again. Van Hook trips over Piper, uh, just uh, bodies where they shouldn't have been, but the Railers come down with it, up to Nelson. I gotta tell you, we gotta let Kenny shoot. Shakes wide, wide, open and drinks it for three. You worry the younger kids who haven't played much will hesitate, man, not James. That's a good shot. No, and and I, I think you're, you're right there where he, he got a chance to play last night, or Monday night, and that's just huge for, for a young guy coming in to a, uh, to a varsity game. Yep. Centennial calls a timeout. They're taking time. We will as well. 1.14 to go. Lincoln up 44-26. Back in a moment with Lincoln. The Railer that one dancing with the stars. Tom Larry, this is Jeff Benjamin back at Roy S. Anderson. Railer's on top 44-26. And almost a duplicate of Monday night's game. You look at the scoreboard and you're thinking, okay, this all-top team is supposed to be really good. How is Lincoln up by this? Same thing here tonight. Railer's up 18 in the third. Yeah, Jeff, I got to tell you, it's been a very impressive outing. Now, that said, uh, the Railers had a tough fourth quarter, and Centennial's plenty capable of going on a big run, so uh, we can't rest our laurels. they got to keep playing defense on offense. they got to get good spacing and, and pass the basketball and get good shots. Olsen, Nelson, Kirby, Van Hook, and Smith on the floor for the Railers. Up by 18 as we approach the one-minute mark. Flipping across the top of the zone. Alexander, top of the key, working against Nelson. Quick hands by Nelson. Steele tips it to himself. Nice job by the senior. Great job. Coach Alexander looks like they're going to try and hold for one. That would be the real one. Van Hook working the baseline. Ball out with Jake Olsen near the timeline. And Jake is guarded by the 6'4", Alexander. Jake played really well tonight, hitting a couple threes. Career high six points so far tonight. Down to 30 seconds. Smith hands back to Olsen. Now what? Uh, uh, Daniel has Butler on him. Kind of down to 22 seconds. Back now to Olsen. Boy, I can tell you, Butler's quick, but I think Daniel can take him when he wants him. And there he goes around the right side. Butler cuts him off down to 14 seconds. Olsen brings the left hand dribble. Now looks like the Railers look to start the offense. High post, Nathaniel. Down in the corner, Jordan wide open Got for it. a three. Fires Short. it up over Piper. Yeah, left is Jordan. Rebound comes down to Alexander. Two to one. Richard Shea's going to fire it off. Throws it up. It's on the way. And no good. At the end of three, Railers on top. 44-26. Back for the fourth of the moment. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. <laughs> 